Hey yo everyone, it's Andrew from MAO Magic and I have the new second generation Hue Lightstrip Plus. Now if you are interested, I've gone ahead and put a link in the description to make it easy for you. Now there are a ton of changes in this new second generation model, uh, but one thing stays the same and that is it comes with two meters in length. So that just the base unit by itself, two meters is what you are going to get. But now you can actually get extensions as well as cut the actual light strip. So with those extensions, you can go up to a 10 full meters in length uh, compared to before where you were stuck with just whatever this light strip was putting out that two meters that you came with. It also can now be trimmed. So if it is too long, if you have a smaller area, like maybe an island or something you're going underneath, you can trim it to make it a bit shorter. In the box itself, you're going to have actual light strip. You're going to have the power adapter and this kind of middle piece that connects the actual light strip to your adapter itself. Everything has these 3M adhesives on the back of it, such as the little converter here that transfers it to that power cord, as well as the back of the strip itself. If we go ahead and take a little bit closer look at the actual light strip. Now at first glance, it does look pretty similar to the last generation model. Uh, it still has the adhesive on the back, the lights on the front, Philip's name running down the side. We still have the adapter here on the end, this kind of funky ribbon cable that has a plug into the adapter. Um, but there are a few different differences. So if we look really closely at the cord itself, we now have some little cut marks, okay? So on the back, we have the adhesive, but on the front, if you look really closely, you'll see a few different parts with some scissor lines, some little like dotted lines and a pair of scissors. So you can actually cut this. So if this is too long, if this is, you know, for an island, you can just trim this and make it that shorter length so you don't have it kind of overflowing the edge because it is kind of stiff and there's not really a good thing to do with it if it doesn't fit the area that you are hoping to light. However, once you cut it, be prepared to live with that decision because you cannot extend it after the fact. So if I trim this off here, uh, that's how it's going to stay. And especially for a $90 light strip, uh, be sure you want to cut it before you do that because you cannot extend it after the fact. So on the other end, we have a little bit of a new part here, and this is the fact that you can extend it. So as I mentioned, it comes with two meters in the base kit. You can put uh, one meter extensions onto it, up to 10 meters in total length, and it just has a little like plug outlet here. So if you got the extensions for 29 bucks or so, those will simply plug into the end of this. So if you're running this anywhere uh, particularly long, you can now extend it, which is a huge gain for those that were kind of putting a lot of rope lights. So if we're going to go ahead and install this now, the first thing we have to do is pick our location. Then we're just going to remove all the tiny little adhesives. Now, as you're kind of laying this out, some may start to fall off because they're just kind of used to being curled up. So when you straighten it out, they'll start to just fall off on them their own. Uh, so make sure you don't want to get that to touch anything and lose all of its stickiness. So here we're just going to be under, we're going to mount it under some cabinets. So we're just going to slowly go the long here and we're just going to keep pressing and removing a few more strips as we go. Be sure you know where your outlet is going to go so that I can easily hide that cord uh, and keep it out of the way. We're going to keep working up the side here and under the top here just as we keep going along the cabinets in the kitchen. Once we have everything in place, we're going to go ahead and plug in our ribbon cable to our power adapter here. We have to remove those adhesives again on the back. Uh, but one thing to note, these do not come off of walls easily. These are not like those removable ones like the command strips. So if you do put this on a wall, be sure you want it to stay there. If you're going to put this on a wall, it may be good to actually use command strips or removable adhesive squares or don't mount this on actual just drywall. Now, once it's all in place, you can see how it looks. And there is one big change I want to point out is that it went from 120 lumen output to now 1600 lumen output, which is a huge change. And I know you cannot tell on camera because it kind of just blows it out because it's exceptionally bright, but it is significantly brighter than the last generation model. Once we have it in place, we can go ahead and hook up to our Hue app. So we're just going to go into our settings, go to my lights, and you can either do an auto search. It'll just search for it by itself, or it will do that manual search where you put in the serial number. The serial number you can find on the back of that little power adapter that we had attached to the wall. This is also a good time to point out that you do need a Hue bridge to use this light strip. So you cannot just buy it separately. You do have to have that starter kit or that bridge already in place before using this. Since this is our new model, we have that Siri support, so we can go into our Siri settings and update uh, the lights to now include that cabinet light strip that we've added. And we can go into our scenes and add that uh, light strip to any previous scenes we had, such as the ones I had for kitchen, can now control my two bulbs as well as that light strip. Now, since we're looking at the colors here, this one has much better color output than the last generation model, as well as specifically, it has adjustable white tuning. So now you can just have that white light and kind of tune that how you would like it. If you're using that new Bridge 2.0 system that allows that Siri support that we adjusted for later, you can now just use Siri to turn your light strip on and off. So I can say, 
hey, Siri, can you turn off my kitchen cabinets? And it can turn off my kitchen cabinets or turn them on or any scene that that is used in. You can also do this remotely if you maybe have the Apple TV hooked up, which will just push all that HomeKit support through. But again, that only works on the new bridge. If we look at the pros and cons, one, it is significantly brighter going from 120 to 1600 lumens. It has better color representation, especially now that it has that tunable white colors. It has built-in 3M adhesive, so you don't need to use anything extra. With the brighter light, the better colors, this absolutely looks really great. Pretty much nowhere, wherever you put it underneath cabinets, above cabinets, it just looks really nice. It can now be cut to length, so you don't have to have it overhanging anything. And it can also be extendable if you have areas that are larger than that 2 meters in length. If we look at the con side, it is exceptionally expensive. This is one of the most expensive bulbs in the Hue lineup at $90 for the standard set. It still is kind of short. I know for a lot of places that I was hoping to put it, two meters was still not enough, even though it can be extended, but it's still expensive if you do that. While it is trimmable now, you cannot cut it exactly where you want, so you do have a little bit of wiggle room and it won't be that exact length that you want since you have to use those uh, specifically designed marks. And lastly, that adhesive is not easily removable, especially on that power adapter there. Uh, this is not something you really want to put on your wall. If you're at all interested in the Hue Light Strip Plus, you can get the link right below in the description. If you have any questions at all, make sure you just throw them up in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Make sure you check out my other Hue videos, including the Disney lamps as well as the new Hue Bridge 2.0 with Siri integration. Please subscribe so I can keep this video coming. And other than that, I'll see you guys all next time.